My name's Jennifer Baker. I've been a journalist for more than 15 years and I specialise in technology policy. Without the internet, I wouldn't have a job like so many people. The internet is my livelihood. I wouldn't be able to do my job without it. But what does bother me is the amount of information about me, my personal data, that's floating around there in cyberspace. My name, photographs, my date of birth, my address, my phone number. But what I want to know is that it's not floating around. I want to know where it is and what can be done with it. A few years ago, we heard an awful lot about the fear of identity theft. We don't hear about that so much anymore because we give our information and our data away willingly. We sign up for the Facebooks, the Googles and the Amazons of this world. So I want to know what laws are in place and what can be done with my information. I want to know that if I delete an account, that my information will be deleted as well. That a company can't just hold on to it forever, do whatever it wants with it or sell it off to the highest bidder. I want laws that tell me that if my account is deleted, my information is deleted as well. So that's the legal data that's out there. But what about the illegal data? Thanks to Edward Snowden, we now know that even governments were sifting through our private communications and information without our knowledge or our permission. So we want rules in place. We need strong politicians in Brussels who can strike deals with third countries to make sure European citizens' rights are protected and that our information is secure. Of course, along with that, we have responsibilities. We have the responsibility not to sell surveillance technology to despotic regimes that may use it to persecute their own citizens. And I want rules around that as well. The We Promise Charter enshrines all that. It sets out guidelines that politicians undertake to follow if they get elected. And thanks to the Lisbon Treaty, the European Parliament now has a real say in what laws are made. After all, it was the European Parliament that got ACTA thrown out, a piece of legislation that could potentially have criminalised millions of ordinary citizens just for downloading content from the internet. So, on election day, I'll be voting for a candidate who's already thought about this. There are big challenges for the next parliament. There's the data protection regulation, there's net neutrality, there's copyright reform. So many areas that matter to anyone who owns a computer, which, let's face it, is all of us. So vote for a politician that's going to think about these things, that's going to rise to the challenge with the best interests of the citizens at heart. Mm -hmm.